It's cold out there today, folks. And of course, I've run into the situation that I run into all the time. When I'm scouting for weird locations, whether it be for uh, photography or for video work, uh, especially in the case, in this case, like with a music video, I often run into locations where there is either limited power or no power. And I'm always watching the market to see what kind of cool invention somebody's going to come up to make these jobs easier. So in this situation, we have limited power. And so we're drawing enough power for lighting, for equipment, and that's about it. If we were to put a heat source on that, we'd probably be tripping breakers. We'd probably be in trouble which is problematic when you're in the middle of a video shoot or a photography shoot. So to keep everybody cozy warm without any power, Mr. Heater came up with the solution with the Hero Series. These are heaters that you can run them on power or you can just unplug them and the fan will run on a built-in battery source. So you can run completely independent of power. All you're doing is running a propane tank. That is mighty convenient in many situations. So this little building is about 17 feet by 13 feet with seven and a half foot ceilings. And then there's a huge gaping hole that goes up into the attic or storage space. It's a 10, 12 pitch roof. So it, there is a fair amount of space up there for the heat that we generate here to leak up into. Uh, so take that into consideration when you're thinking about heating a space with this size heater. So this heater is rated at 35,000 BTU. So we're gonna get out the thermometer and the timer and see how long it takes to bring this space up to a comfortable working temperature. It has uh, interesting safety features in it, whether you're running it on the cord or you're running it on the battery. If you bump it, kick it, try and lift it and move it, it shuts off and you have to do a restart uh, so that you don't accidentally kick it and aim it into something combustible or any myriad of other issues uh, that happen when you're dealing with an open flame. The specs say that you charge it for five hours and then it will run the fan for eight hours. So there's plenty of heat time there. And then when the battery runs out, if you have a power source, you can plug it in and run it while it's charging or you could just uh, take it out of here and um, plug it in somewhere and just charge the battery. So we are just past the 20 minute mark and we're up to 11 degrees. So we are past the 40 minute mark and it says uh, 16 degrees out here at the close to the exterior wall but in the center of the room I'm guessing it's closer to 18. Uh, we're down to t-shirts working uh, a number of degrees ago. It's uh, really nice and toasty warm in here. Um, so I'm guessing the center of the room is a little closer to uh, 18, 19 degrees. Around 17 degrees at about 45 minutes. But the center of the room I think is much warmer. So at just under an hour our gauge is at uh, 19.7. It feels way warmer in here. It is t-shirt <laughs> big time in here. And uh, so it's uh, about an hour to bring it up. Imagine some of that heat is going to uh, dissipate quickly because it was a very cold building. But uh, uh, it certainly has done a good job. 
So I hope you found this information useful. I hope you'll share this video and I hope that you'll subscribe to the channel. We'll see you again soon.